कल हम लोग श्लोक थर्टी एट पढ़ रहे थे ऑफ चैप्टर थर्टी थ्री कैन टू थ्री या एंड जैसा कि हम लोग देख रहे हैं ये दिस इज यू नो चैप्टर थर्टी थर्ड इज द लास्ट चैप्टर ऑफ कैन टू थ्री एंड लास्ट फ्यू चैप्टर्स वी हैव बीन रीडिंग अबाउट मदर डे होती है कपिल मुनि या सो कपिल मुनि मदर डे होती को ट्रांसेंडेंटल ब्लिस प्रदान करते हैं राइट नॉलेज देते हैं एंड मदर दे होती गेट्स इन टू टोटली डिवोशनल सर्विस एंड एंड एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ दैट क्या शी गेट्स आउट ऑफ द मेटेरियल मोड्स राइट ऑल दिस थ्री मेटेरियल मोड्स सतोगुन रजोगुन एंड तमोगुन मदर दे होती गेट्स आउट ऑफ दैट मेटेरियल मोड गेट्स फुल्ली सिचुएटेड इन टू ट्रांसेंडेंटल ब्लेस एंड गेट्स कनेक्टेड विथ द Lord Shri Krishna, yeah. So that's what we have been reading, <clears throat> and uh, yesterday we read Shlok Thirty Eight, which said, "My dear Vidur," and as we talk, Maitreya Muni is explaining this to Mahatma Vidur. He is explaining about the various avatars of Lord Vishnu, and currently we are reading about Lord Kapil, yeah. And so Maitreya Muni is telling, "My dear Vidur, by following the principles instructed by Kapil, yeah." कपिल उठते न देहूति सून बिकेम लिबरेटेड फ्रॉम मेटेरियल बॉन्डेज एंड अचीव द सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गोड हेड एज सुपर सोल विदाउट डिफिकल्टी या सो दैट्स द ब्यूटी ऑफ द डिवोशनल सर्विस या भगवंत वाप है सो दैट्स वॉट वी आर रीडिंग यस्टरडे and uh, you know we just read some of the purport you know it says of course lord vishnu all the vaikuntha planets are known by a particular name of vishnu right and as we know mother dehuti went to the vaikuntha lok which is named as kapil vaikuntha yeah and as we understand from brahma samhita advaitam achutam anadi ananta rupam and anant means immarable the lord has innumerable expansions of his transcendental form and according to different positions of the symbolic representations in his four hands he is known as narayan pradyuman aniruddha vasudev etc yeah so that's lord vishnu yeah so we'll continue reading the next shlok 31 hari krishna rajiksham prabhu ji ah hari krishna विराशित 
शासिधि संसिधि मुपेशु ईशु ईशि ता place where they have the achieved her perfection my dear vidu is understood to be the most sacred spot it is known all over three worlds siddha pada hey krishna so and you know in india and you know lot of places we know that there are lot of places which are very sacred right we go and we we see the history and then we see this is a sacred most sacred place so similarly where mother devuti achieved her perfection she was near the saraswati river right on the saraswati river is known as siddha padam yeah siddha padam so that's a place and it's trilokya vishutam so it's known all over the three worlds and is the most sacred spot so it's punyatamam क्षेत्र अनिल जी अनिल जी अनिल जी पढ़ेंगे आप ओके प्रवीण विद्युता मार्त्यम मर्त्यम भूत सरित श्रोत साम प्रमणा सौम्य सिद्धिता सिद्ध सेविता डियर विदुर द मेटीरियल एलिमेंट्स ऑफ अ बॉडी है मेल्टेड इन टू वाटर एंड आर नाउ ए फ्लावरिंग रिवर इट्स लाइक ए फ्लोइंग रिवर व्हिच इज द मोस्ट सेक्रेड ऑफ ऑल रिवर्स एनीवन हु बेस इन दैट रिवर आल्सो अटेंस परफेक्शन एंड देयरफॉर ऑल पर्संस who desire perfection go be there hari krishna hari krishna yeah so think think about the uh the devotional service of mother devuti right the material elements of her body are melted into water yeah and now flow now a flowing river and people take a bath like it's supposed to be most sacred of all rivers anyone who bathes in that river also attains perfection yeah so see the impact of that so therefore all persons who desire perfection go and bat there yeah siddha sevita kavin ji <coughs> hare krishna prabhu ji <coughs> kapilopi mahayogi bhagwan pitura shramat ऑल्सो लेफ्ट his father's hermitage yeah after giving sankhya gyan sankhya vigyan sankhya gyan to mother devuti yeah the transcendental knowledge and prabhu dichim disham yayo yani he went towards north east yeah and kapilo api mahayogi bhagwan yeah so and we know that this adhyay is about kapil muni and mother devuti yeah <clears throat> Ajay. Sure. Siddh Siddh Char Gan Ganan Mad Mad Mand Vay Munir Bhichipsa Rogane Stuya Mana Samudvain Tatta Han Niketna. while he was passing in the northern direction all the celestial denizens known as karnas and gandharvas as well as the munis and the damsels of the heavenly planets heavenly planets prayed and offered him all respects the ocean offered him ob- oblations and places of res- residence hari krishna <clears throat> 
Right? So, so is the Kapil Muni. Yeah? When he's passing by, even Gandharva Muni, everybody is offering the respect. And Samudrena, right? Samudra, ocean. Dattahara Niketana. Yeah? The ocean offered him ob oblations and a place of residence to Kapil Muni. Yeah? This Tarun. It is understood that Kapila Muni first went towards the Himalayas and traced the course of the river Ganges. And he came, he again came to the delta of the Ganges at the sea, now known as the Bay of Bengal. The ocean gave him residence at a place still known as Ganga Sagara, where the river Ganges meets the sea. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, yeah. So Kapil Muni went towards northeast, right, reaching to the Bay of Bengal. And I think Kafi uh, Amlogone Sunava about Ganga Sagar. So Ganga Sagar is where Kapil Muni Ashram is, right? Also, before that, I'm reading about Mother Dehuti, right? So as we know, Karda Muni was doing Tapasya at the shore of Saraswati River. Uh, and, you know, I, I think you would have heard about, you can read a lot about Saraswati River, right? How everything has come through. And there's also a Triveni Sangam. Does Prayagraj. anyone know where Triveni Sangam is? Prayagraj. Prayagraj, yeah? yeah. I come from that place. Yeah? <laughs> wow. So that is so lucky, right? So in Prayagraj, we have Ganga, Jamuna, and Saraswati. Saraswati. All three rivers coming together. Yeah? Saraswati. And then going up to Alaknanda. And then, so like, just think about how sacred that river is. And, and now what we are talking about with Kapil Muni is, you know, he reached to the place, Ganga Sagar, that ocean, that place is, the ocean gave him residence. Yeah. The ocean gave Kapil Muni residence at a place still known as Ganga Sagar, where river Ganges meets the sea. Yeah. Ganga meeting the Sagar. And so read this uh, Isha. That place is called Ganga Sagar Tirth, and even today people gather there to offer respects to Kapil Dev, the original author of the Sankhya system of philosophy. Unfortunately, this Sankhya system has been misrepresented by an imposter who is also named Kapil, but that other system of philosophy does not tally with anything described in the Sankhya of Kapila in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, yeah. So what we are reading is about the Kapil Muni, who is actually the avatar of Lord Vishnu. Over a period of time, there has been another Kapil Muni who tried to mimic the same <laughs> Kapil Muni, right? But that's not the real one. I mean, so the real Sankhya Vigyan, the Ganga Sagar, Ganga Sagar. Has anyone been to Ganga Sagar? Yes, Prabhuji. So, Prabhuji. So how, how did you feel there? Like how? Huh? It's a really very good place. In our language, we say Sapirat Bar Bar Ganga Sagar Ek Bar. Ek bar. <laughs> huh. wow. If once one has visited there, hmm. usko pura satisfaction milta hai. Translate. Bahut achha sthan hai. Nice. My father, nice. myself, hmm. my brother, everyone has gone there. So nice. Thank you, Pravinji, for sharing that experience. And it is only, I think, few hours from Calcutta, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. So when if we get a chance to go there, you know, we should visit that place. Mm -hmm. So thank you. So let's continue reading. Um, Rina ji? Yeah. <coughs> Asti Yogam Samasthaya Sankhya Chare Bistuta Triana Mapi Loka Nam Pashante Samahitaha. Even now, Kapil Muni is staying there in trance for the deliverance of the conditioned souls in the three worlds. And all the Acharyas or great teachers of the system of Sankhya philosophy are worshipping him. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah, he says, Aste Yogam Samasthaya. Yeah, so all the Sankhya Charyas who are, you know, wishing to learn Sankhya philosophy, 
worship Kapil Muni and he is still there in trance for the deliverance of the conditioned souls like us. Yeah. So that's about Kapil Muni. Yeah. And Jyoti. Tani gati tam tata yet prushto ham tavanaga kapila siacha sampado deva hutyascha pavanaha. My dear son, since you have inquired from me, I have answered, O sinless one, the descriptions of kapila deva and his mother and their activities are the purest of all pure discourses. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Jyoti. So, my dear son, since you inquired from me, and who is saying this? Who is saying that since you inquired from me, I have answered? Devuti. No. So, this is this is Maitreya Muni is telling Mahatma Vidur. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. So he's telling Mahatma Vidur. Mahatma Vidur inquired about Kapil Muni. And so Maitre Muni has answered that. That's what is being mentioned. That my dear son, since you inquired from me, I have answered. Oh, sinless one, the descriptions of Kapil Dev and his mother. Yeah. And their activities. And listening that it's being mentioned is the purest of all pure discourses. Yeah. Samadho. Devutaksha Pavanaha, yeah, the purest. And that's what Srimad Bhagavatam is to read Katha about the pure discourses, the purest of the pure. So that's what Maitreya is then telling Atma Vidu. Yeah. And uh, Sachin. जातो लोक तत्परा ही Shri Ranu Jagne Anapani. The description of the dealings of Kapil Deva and his mother is very confidential. And anyone who hears or reads this narration becomes a devotee of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who is carried by Garuda. And he thereafter enters into the abode of Supreme Lord to engage in transcendental loving service of the Lord. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah, so what? Matrimony is and saying is that anyone who studies this, yeah, the Kapil Muni and Mother Devuti's Sankhya Vikyan, anyone who hears or reads this narration becomes a devotee of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who is carried by Garud. Who is carried by Garud, as we know, right? Lord Vishnu is always carried on the Garud. And Anyone who listens to this, he thereafter enters into the abode of the Supreme Lord to engage in the transcendental loving service of the Lord. Yeah, he says here, Uplabte Bhagavat Padara Vindam. Yeah, Pad, pad Arvindam. That's the to engage in the transcendental loving service of the Lord, is what is being uh, mentioned here. Uh, so, read this Isha. The narration of Kapil Dev and his mother Deva Huti is so perfect and transcendental that even if one only hears or reads this description, he achieves the highest perfectional goal of life. For he engages in the loving service of the lotus feet of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. There is no doubt that Devahuti, who had the Supreme Lord as our son and who followed the instructions of Kapil Dev so nicely, attained the highest perfection of human life. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna, yeah. 
So that is the beauty of reading Srimad Bhagavatam that we read about so many of purest discourses, right? And that helps us in engaging in the loving service of the lotus feet, Charnaravindam of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And once we engage in the loving service and devotion, that's that gives us a chance slowly and slowly to get to the highest perfectional goal of life, right? Attain the highest perfection of human life. That is why the human birth is there, right? And this is this gives us an opportunity to slowly and slowly get there by doing the devotional service. So that's what is being mentioned here. And this ends the Bhakti Vedanta purport of the third canto, 33rd chapter of the Srimad Bhagavatam entitled Activities of Kapil Muni. So that also ends the third canto. Well, Srimad Bhagavatam ki. Yeah. 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 So this actually, so we have completed third book, which is really nice. <laughs> I think today is our uh, 274th uh, session. Uh, you know, since we started Srimad Bhagavatam <laughs> for a couple of years. <laughs> so time flies and slowly and slowly we have completed the third third book, which is so nice. And, you know, I really appreciate and thank you everyone for coming together and, you know, I think we'll get there. So we still have nine more books to go. Anilji <laughs> said we are, we are done 25%, so we have 75% more <laughs> to go. Uh, so, but which is nice. So, Thank you. And uh, um, so since we have completed third canto, and as you know, right, the third canto, we read a lot about Lord Brahmaji's Stuti. We read about Lord Varaha Avatar, if you remember. We read, we Lord uh, Varaha Avatar, uh, Hiranyaksh, uh, and Lord Varaha fight, right? And of course, then we read whole thing about Kapil Muni and Karda Muni and Devuti and so on and so forth. So Rasikya Prabhuji, couple of minutes if you want to give us some knowledge gyan be nice yes, yes, my emphasis is that we are reading the Bhagavatam so we should be able to convince the Bhagavad Gita and we should be able to realize the Bhagavad Gita we should be able to read the Bhagavad Gita and we should be able to realize बड़े बड़े संत हुए हैं आपको पता है उनमें से एक बाबा जी की कथा बताता हूं बाबा जी इतने बड़े हरिनाम जापक थे राम नाम का जप करते थे उन्होंने बिल्कुल एक अक्षर का ही पढ़ाई नहीं किया था फिर भी ज्ञान ऐसा प्रकट हुआ उन्होंने संस्कृत में बहुत सारे श्लोक बहुत सारे स्तुतियां उन्होंने रचना किया बिना कुछ पढ़े लिखे एक बार का बात है कि वो चातुर्मास के लिए गांव में रुके थे और वहां पर अचानक से एक काला सा बड़ा विशाल काय पुरुष वहां प्रकट हो गया उसका नजर ऐसा झुका हुआ था बोला बाबा आप यहां से चले जाओ उन्होंने कहा कि क्यों भाई मैं क्यों चला जाऊं मैं तो किसी को कोई नुकसान नहीं पहुंचा रहा हूं उल्टा हरि नाम कर रहा हूं और लोगों को करा रहा हूं तो कल तो उसने कहा कि मैं खुद कलयुग हूं और इस समय में आप जहां भी जाते हैं और हरि नाम जहां भी होता है मैं सब धर्म के सारे स्तंभों को मैंने तोड़ दिया है लेकिन एक हरि नाम ही है जिसके सामने मैं नतमस्तक रहता मैं कुछ नहीं कर पाता तो आप जो कि यहां पर राम नाम ले रहे हैं और सबको दे रहे हैं तो मैं चाहता हूं आप चले जाए ताकि यहाँ पर प्रभाव मेरा बना रहे बाबा ने कहा कि नहीं मैं नहीं जाऊंगा और मैंने कभी आपका शिकायत भी नहीं किया कि कल जो बुरा है मुझे यहीं रहने दीजिए आपसे क्षमा चाहता हूं फिर उन्होंने कलयुग से पूछा कि आप नजर क्यों नहीं मिला रहे मुझसे तो उन्होंने कहा कलयुग ने कहा कि मैं आपके सामने नतमस्तक हूं जो हरिनाम करते हैं उसका नजर भी मैं नहीं मिलाता तो कहने का तात्पर्य यह है कि ये कोई पुरानी घटना नहीं है कल सज्जू का द्वापर त्रेता का ये अभी का घटना है बीस साल पच्चीस साल पहले का घटना है वो बाबा अभी भी विद्यमान है काफी वृद्ध काफी बूढ़े हो चुके हैं तो हमें क्या करना है हम जहां भी हो पहले हमारा साधना हरिनाम जब बढ़ाना है ये हमको ध्यान रखना है रूटीन ऐसा सेट करना है कि दिन पर दिन हमारा 
क्या टाइम बढ़ते जाए साधना का आज आपने बताया साल वर्ष से ज्यादा हमारा भागवत पढ़ पढ़ के पढ़ पढ़ के हो गया है तो भागवत पढ़ना भी एक साधना है हरि हरिनाम का सेवा है तो हरिनाम का जब ये आवश्यक है कलयुग के लिए तो मुख्य भक्ति का स्तंभ है तो आप लोग कहीं भी रूटीन सेट करिए कहीं एक माला करते हो तो दो माला करिए चार आठ करने का प्रयास करिए बड़ा ये समय निकलते जा रहा है पता नहीं आगे क्या होगा दो मिनट बचा है आगे कीर्तन सुनते हैं भगवान नरसिंह देव का हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्णा थैंक यू सो मच रसिक श्याम प्रभु जी हरे कृष्ण ऑलवेज इंस्पिरेशनल राइट वेन रसिक श्याम प्रभु जी ज्वाइन सर्स एंड ऑल्सो मच and it's great that we have completed canto 3 we'll see you tomorrow again at 10 o'clock we'll start with a new canto canto 4 yeah and so we'll hear the hari naam kirtan for one minute and then see you tomorrow at 10 pm hari krishna hari krishna hari krishna hari krishna hari krishna Hey yeah.